Hello, hello, hello. Today, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about decayed Miss Phil teeth. So one may ask, what is decayed Miss Phil teeth? Decayed Miss Phil teeth is an index that is used to find out who has got more decay or more caries or who has a healthy condition than another. So if you take two people, I'm going to use this model. This is Dino my companion, to um, discuss this very important topic. It is an index that is used to find out those who have got high decay or they have poor teeth condition. Because if you add the scores up, so you can do it yourself, and your score is lower than the other person, then it means that you have less decay. So let's get into this. So we're going to start with what is decayed miss filling teeth and how to do it yourself. So decay means rotten teeth and how you can identify it. And then miss means missing teeth. How many missing teeth you have? And then fill teeth. So for example, I'm going to use Dino as an example. So if we want to find out what decay teeth um, Dino has got, we look at the fishes. At times when you look at the fishes, the groove. Some people have got it stained. If it is stained, it means that there is to be a decay, but the tooth repaired itself. And then we have the missing teeth. That is how many missing teeth do you have? So you count the number of missing spaces, gaps you have. And then you count the number of rotten teeth you have. And then you count the number of teeth that have been filled and then add it. The higher the score, it means that your you have problems with your teeth. So it is an index that is used. So we're going to start with the decay teeth. So if you look in the mouth, I'm going to use this model. You see some grooves, natural grooves. At times we do preventative fillings called fissure sealant because if you don't brush properly and food gets stuck in there, it leads to decay. So this guy has opened his mouth. I'm sure you can see a filling in there. So it is up to you to count. How many fillings do you have? So open your mouth wide and then write down how many cavities you can see with your own eyes. How many teeth have you had filled? Count it. How many missing teeth do you have? Count it. And then add it all up. And then if you compare it with your friends, so if your score is higher, it means you've got more tooth problems than the other. So in simple language, it is basically an index tool. It's a screening tool to find out who has got more decay or more tooth problems than the other person. I hope you found this very useful. So please, thank you for staying till the end. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay. As always, there's always a disclaimer. This is only for educational purposes and it's very important to go to your dentist because it's very important to have a checkup to find out whether you have decay the prevention is better than care if you have decay or you are prone to decay so if for example you don't brush your teeth properly the plaque becomes hard and it stays there and leads to decay so prevention is better than care and thank you for staying till the end. Thank you very much. And see you in the next video.